yeah, so I'm back <laughs> to uh, discuss and demonstrate uh, seeking consent for intraoral massage. The technique of intraoral massage is really, it's a bit tricky because you're in the dark, you can't see where you're going, um, and you have to know your anatomy pretty well. But the, technique, the techniques are, tend to be not that uh, tricky. The tricky part is really you're going to be sticking your fingers in someone's mouth, and that's supposed to be relaxing somehow. Um, and a lot, of, uh, a lot of people have been, um, well, the reason you're there is because they find it hard to relax, one. And uh, a lot of people have had uh, bad histories with the mouth. Uh, the first time I went to the dentist, he was probing my teeth to see, uh, you know, if they were competent. And I was terrified. And uh, he said to the nurse next to him, he said, oh, well, Dr. Brown last week was doing this. And he slipped and he ripped right through this little girl's lip. Ooh. And she was crying all the time, in, up until the ambulance came. So I was terrified. And I carried that terror with me like for a long time, decades. So that really affected me deeply in terms of what I did to take care of my teeth and w the whole oral health thing and so on. So dentists are much better trained and uh, you know, tend to not try to traumatize people. But um, all sorts of things can happen inside people's mouths. So um, I recommend treating everybody with the equivalent of universal precautions in the sense that, you know, if you see someone's blood or something, you don't, you know, you need to have a barrier with that because you don't, you don't need to know what kind of microorganisms are in someone's blood. Just treat everybody's body fluids like they may have something in, a, in that that is dangerous. So I treat every client intraorally as if someone has not treated them well. And, um, and for people who have not been treated well, um, then the biggest thing that they can often get is a sense of safety and that they're in control of the uh, treatment. So when I seek consent to treat somebody intraorally, then uh, I need to give them a sense of you know, why I want to go there and everywhere and everything but uh, I need to give them a sense of empowerment. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that. <laughs> hey, oh, sorry, Molly, <laughs> I'm shaking everything here. Um, yeah, so in, and I'm just simulating as if we had a whole <clears throat> historical reason to be doing this because Molly's jaw is pretty fabulous. But um, yeah, as we, were, um, as we were talking earlier, Molly, mm -hmm. um, you've got all this, um, this clenching and grinding in your jaw, some are related to when your mother-in-law is in town. Yes. Some of it not. Um, and the joint itself has been sore lately, and it's just really hard to relax in there. Yes. So I'd like to help out. We've tried some massage externally here, and it's helped a little bit. Um, but it comes back within minutes. And uh, my experience has shown intraoral massage is, is uh, more effective. So do you have any questions or concerns about that? I don't think so. Okay, let me, tell you, yeah, let me tell you some more, okay? okay? So, yeah, so I put a glove on. So, you know, my skin has is, is got this glove on it. And uh, it's, uh, it's not a latex glove. So have you had any problems with, you know, gloves in dental offices? That, so you don't have any allergies that you're aware of? No. Okay, at least the, great. So the common allergy people have is latex. Mm -hmm. This is not a latex glove, so that's good. Um, and the idea is I just put my finger in your mouth and really, it's just in your cheek. So it's not between your teeth. So it doesn't go anywhere near your tongue, which is like a really gaggy zone and everything. And um, so it's not gaggy. If, you had, if you've had enough at any point, all you need to do is um, just raise your hand like that. Okay. Because you might not you know, be able to speak easily or you don't want to. Sure. So I also say, that's the common thing is raise your hand. I often encourage people to shake their head too. Okay. My, my finger's here. I got it. So I could be, you know, drifting or looking out the window, but I'm going to sense that. Okay. So, um, sounds okay. Good. Sounds good to you. Mm -hmm. Great. So um, I'm going to put a glove on and we'll just get started with that. Okay. Great. And what I'm going to demonstrate is that when I get started, after no more than 20 seconds, I'm going to take the glove out. I'm going to take my finger out, say, hey, how are you doing? So then, you know, I've said that I want her to be in charge and in control, but I demonstrate with that. It's like our children, you know, we can tell them to do something, but it's really our behavior that 
they track, and rightfully so. So clients are the same.